Welcome to Down the Hatch, the show where I put stuff in my mouth and talk about what it tastes like. I'm your host, Barry Flavors, and I have been wearing this sweatshirt for quite some time. So as you can see, I am still in quarantine, still shooting in my little makeshift home studio and been trying to get creative with some fun things to actually review and I had this idea to kind of just order a bunch of vintage candy off of Amazon, some classics, a little bit of nostalgia. Candyman, ham, cause he mixes it with lava makes the world taste good. What are we gonna take a look at first? These are Boston baked beans. Yeah, they are candy coated peanuts. I'm not 100% sure if there's chocolate in this. I actually don't think that there's chocolate in this. It just says candy coated peanuts. People from Boston are strange. Somebody from Boston would have come up with this name. Apparently these were super popular like in the 50s and 60s. Boston baked beans taste baked. Let's just crack these bad boys up and see what they kind of look like. Huh. So they actually look like regular kind of baked beans that you would get in the can, a little bit freaky. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Let's just go for it, huh? Here we go, down the hatch. They're hard. I'm like a jawbreaker. Like I can't really even bite into it. Definitely sweet, it's definitely like uh, hard candy. But I'm starting to get some of the peanut, some of that peanut flavor coming through. Some of the candy coating here. Went from kind of being like a regular cherry red kind of hard candy into straight up kind of peanut flavor. Oh. Kind of hurting my teeth. Very weird, very strange. I've never really had anything like this. I'll give it a decent score, nothing amazing. 7-1. Score. Taste it. All right, next up, here we go. So these are called Crybaby Tears. Teardrops are falling. These were basically like warheads before warheads were warheads. This was like the sour candy. Comes in five different flavors. Grape, lemon, cherry, orange, and watermelon, really everything you want. So if you take a look at these, they're actually kind of cool. They kind of look like tears. They're little tear-shaped bastards because these little fucking merchants of death actually make you cry. You gotta be the, the type that really just likes to torture yourself a little bit. You gotta like pain. You know, if you really want to put something sour in your mouth, you get that little uh, in the corner. All right, here we go. Cry baby tears down the hatch. They're sour, I mean, they're sour. It's a sour. Definitely not warhead like status, like make your whole fucking face shake. But uh, these are definitely sour. Oh, when you bite into them, they get even more sour. I mean, you get what you came for. If you're coming for sour, I would recommend. I'm not gonna go overboard with it. Seven four. Score. Taste it. All right, keeping it moving. Let's see what we got here. We got the sugar babies, which are candy coated milk caramels, and the sugar daddy, which is just a milk caramel pop. This is definitely one of those candies that is just from a completely different era. No one would sit around a marketing table today and be like, yeah, let's call it sugar babies and sugar daddies. Let's just jump right into it. Sugar babies, candy coated milk caramels, down the hatch. Oh, okay. I see what they're doing here. They're basically like jelly beans. How are you today? I'm Mr. Jelly Bean. With like a little firmness on the outside kind of holds them together. They're not sticky. I know if you touch a piece of caramel. I mean, if you like jelly beans, you'll love these. I like these. I fuck with these. I fuck with sugar babies. All right, let's move into uh, the father, Sugar Daddy. It's actually a place called uh, Sugar Daddy's right by our office. No relation. Oh, no. The paper is like molded into the candy. Like, can you see that? Like, I can't even. Uh Maybe this one's a little easier. So, Sugar Daddy Milk Caramel Pop. Here we go, down that. Still hard. It's like rock hard, actually. Completely different consistency than the Sugar Babies. Ah, that's stuck. Ah, fuck this. I think I gotta rate them as one thing. Sugar Babies are pretty good. The dad, like in most cases, is gonna bring the average down. Dad's leave, no need to be a pussy about it. I don't know, 6-2, score. Taste it. All right, let's keep it moving. So this is a classic. We got some candy cigarettes, some victories, lucky lights, and some stallions. You remember like a time, you know, they would prepare you for like actual smoking? Like everybody smoked. Smoke up, life's short, you know? Uh. Basically just a little white stick. It doesn't even have a flavor. It just says candy. It's got beef gelatin in it. Ah. 
<laughs> like really who fucking knows what's going on in this stuff, huh? But here we go, down the hatch. It has literally no taste. This has no flavor at all. When I think about kids smoking, I always think about that scene in Pinocchio where it goes to the island with all the bad kids. They're all like smoking cigars and doing whatever they want. That always seems super cool to me, except for the part where they all turn into donkeys. Where'd all the donkeys come from? Well, pretending to smoke may be very cool. These don't taste like anything. We've gotta be completely honest. Three eight, score, tasted. All right, next up, here we go. Now these, everybody knows these. These are a classic. Nickel nip mini drinks. Bite them, drink them, chew them. On paper, they make a ton of sense. They're visually appealing, but this is not something that you ever want or will want again once you actually have it. These are not good. So you're not supposed to eat it. You're supposed to chew them. Why would you give kids something that they could chew on but they can't eat? All right, bite it. Oh no, look at this. This sucks. All right, it's open. Here we go, down the hatch. What it, uh, you can like taste the wax in it. Uh, this is gross, we can't even. <coughs> I'm not even doing another one. These, these shouldn't exist. Two, one, score, taste it. Maybe the lowest thing of all time. All right, last but not least, this is obviously a super duper classic. We've got Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape. Six feet of fun. All right, cracking it open, opens nice and easy. I always used to love this, this little situation. If you were a badass on the playground, you would take this whole shit out like this and you try to get the entire thing in your mouth at the same time. Here we go. Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape. Six feet of fun down the hatch. Let's take a little chunk out of this. Mm. Mm-hmm. If you bit it like this, then all these little strips would fall off. You know, you kind of do it like that. It just kind of looks like a little headband. It reminds me of uh, Ace Ventura when he's like shoving all the gum in his mouth. This is not a good idea because if I choke, there's nobody to fucking come and save me. The medical system, the medical system is overworked. Everything's fine. Wow. I'm gonna blow a bubble with this, man. The real cool part about it, though, well, was that you didn't have to like throw it away. You got this cool little vessel that you could save it in. So what you would do when you were a kid is you would just kind of mash the gum into this throw it in your pocket, and then you'd save it for later. Now, in terms of flavor, it's just good old bubblegum flavored bubblegum. We're not gonna go too crazy. Six, five, score, taste it. That's a review, folks, that's our show. Thank you for checking us out. All of these candies that I tried are available on Amazon. Please like, comment, subscribe. As always, I'm your host, Barry Flavors. We'll see you next time on Down the Hatch.